Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Yesterday we were talking raids and endgame content and today we're talking high level gameplay, more specifically what it's like to play as a level 29 titan. As part of IGN's IGN First coverage, today in an interview with Sage Merrill, who is the sandbox design lead at Bungie, we got a chance to have a glimpse at what to expect from high level play. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that this character is level 29, but if you look at the number by the subclass at the top left it says level 20. So what is this? Well, as previously discussed, the level cap in Destiny is level 20. Once you hit level 20, you can still continue to earn XP for your skill tree so you can unlock more abilities, but your base stats will remain the same. Effectively, once you hit level 20, progression past this point is horizontal. The way you achieve a level higher than 20 is through light. You earn items known as motes of light by gaining XP past level 20. The motes of light are then exchanged for pieces of armor which have a light stat. Equipping light rated armor will then increase your level and in turn allow you to progress past 20. Levels past 20 are denoted by a yellow or orange coloration, as opposed to the conventional white levels from 0 to 20. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at some gameplay from what the level 29 titan actually looks like. First up, this is the primary tree for Sage's striker titan. You should be familiar with this tree from the beta, only this time he's been able to progress all the way to the bottom. A few of the key moves we're going to get to see are the shoulder charge, which allow you to unleash a devastating melee attack after sprinting for a short time. I like to call this one Tiger Knee. Then the next one, I actually showed a brief bit of this in my video the other day that showed all the supers for the different classes, but you get to see a little bit more this time, and that's Shockwave, which is a modifier for the Fist of Havoc that unleashes a devastating wave of energy that travels along the ground. The other really cool thing about this build is that typically, when you go down a tree, you need to pick one of three options. The top one is your kind of base option, and then the three ones below are your modifiers. So for example, in the Titan, you could pick from, say, Death from Above, or Shockwave, or things like that, but... Through the piece of exotic gear that the Titan has equipped as his helmet, the Titan is awarded with both Death From Above and Headstrong, which means you're free to select Shockwave in your skill tree, effectively giving you more than just that one. That is pretty damn beast. Think of the possibilities. In fact, 269 and I were talking the other day in our Destiny Beta Let's Talk video, when we were talking about the Hunter, we said how we wished you could kind of chain together things like a double jump or a triple jump with like a blink, and while they are separate slots on the tree, having seen now that you can use pieces of armour to unlock slots on your tree, then who knows, maybe the dream may just become reality. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to run forward, do a triple jump, and blink. Who knows, that would be crazy. But, speaking of the Hunter, I can't believe they teased it right at the start of the video. That made me cry. You see the awesome looking Hunter, and they're like, nope, nope, we're going to show you the Titan. IGN, don't do this to me. But anyway, back on track. The other thing we got to see was the Red Death Pulse Rifle. Up until now, we'd seen pictures of it in the weapon select screen, but never actually seen it in game. But here it is, looking very badass. This gun is special because kills with it not only heal you, but also speed up your reload time. So if you take this to something like the Iron Banner, you can tell you're going to be pretty damn good. Now, just dialing it back to the Titan again, the build that you're seeing actually focuses on both intellect and strength. The idea of this build is that you use strength to reduce the cooldown on your melee attack, so you can use Stormfist more often. And then the illuminated spot in the skill tree means that melee kills reduce the cooldown on your super. So effectively, this is a very aggressive melee focused build that builds super meter very fast so that you can use it more often. Pretty cool stuff. And there you have it, that's it for high level gameplay for the time being, that's everything that was shown. So, it'd be really good to know what you guys think, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about the high level titan play. What subclass are you going to focus on, the more aggressive striker one, or potentially the more kind of team focused strategic defensive one with the ward shield. Let me know, it'd be cool to see what you guys think. But otherwise, as always, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button and show your support, that does really help us out, and obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.